Instituto Bernabeu's specialized unit for the treatment of clinical Thurs syndrome and fertility. Clinical Thurs syndrome is considered the most common chromosomal abnormality in humans, with an incidence of one out of every 500 newborn males. Those affected by this syndrome have an extra X chromosome, which leads to primary testicular failure and therefore infertility and hypoandrogenism. It is a chromosomal abnormality that only affects men and mainly causes hypogonadism. It is based on a genetic alteration that is developed by the incorrect separation of the homologous chromosomes during the formation of one of the parents' gametes, although it is also possible in the first division of the zygote. A person's sex, as we know, is determined by the X and Y chromosomes. Males have the sex chromosomes XY, 46 XY, and women have the sex chromosomes XX, 46 XX. In Klinefelter's syndrome, males have at least one extra X chromosome, leading to a karyotype of 47 XXY in 75% of all cases. However, approximately 20% of all cases are chromosomal mosaics with variations. Other problems that are often associated are decreased sexual libido in adulthood, cryptorchidism, micropenis, hypoplastic scrotum or genetical defects, gynecomastia, underdeveloped muscles and reduced strength, scarcity of facial and body hair as a direct result of the low concentration of testosterone. From Instituto Bernabeu, leaders in reproductive medicine and specialists in finding individual solutions, we inform our patients about the specialized reproductive medicine unit of the urology and andrology department for the specific study and treatment of patients with KS. It is helpful to adapt the care for Klinefelter syndrome from a urological point of view to improve the possibilities of fatherhood. Up until a few years ago, Klinefelter syndrome was considered a model of absolute male sterility. We no longer think this is the case. In our center, we have a specialized care to evaluate the presence of functional sperm in destruction of testicular matter, the pathophysiology of a spermatogenic failure, and the advantage of looking for and freezing sperm found in ejaculate and or testicular samples of adolescents and young adults. What is this based on? In previously published series, sperm retrieval has yielded positive results for 50% of patients and the pregnancy rate after ICSI was no different than in other cases with the best prognosis in the younger patients. Other current series show more spermatogenia. Although these results conflict with traditional belief, some patients could benefit from effective treatments. There are more options than giving up hope or using donor sperm. Our specialized unit has all the latest analysis technology perfectly designed for this pathology in order to offer the best results that the latest research can provide. We provide pronostic information with the assessment of alternative options.